Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to yet another Coinsider live stream. I'm your host, Kevin, and uh, let's start out by giving me a mic check. Does my mic sound good? Does it sound loud and clear? Or do I need to turn it up a little bit? Um, let me know. And there's been a notable pullback in the crypto markets in the past few days. So the biggest question on my mind is, is this a buying opportunity? Should we start scaling into some of these promising projects that we've been looking into together during these great live streams where we all share alpha with each other? So I think the Coinsider community is great. Y'all share the best alpha together with each other. Um, whereas if it was just me and my team, we wouldn't be able to give you as much alpha as if we all shared it together because y'all know everyone is into their own like discover their own projects that other people may not have heard of so that's the goal of these streams the same format um no super chats please they won't be prioritized but if you want your project to be have a higher likelihood to be chosen um then do this give full name a project ticker symbol and something interesting about it actually let me Full name of, let me just make that a banner, plus ticker symbol, plus something interesting about it. Boom. Wow, that's a little bit big. But okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so I'll wait for some good ones to roll in. Feel free to start sharing those. And in the meantime, let me just make sure I'm sharing my screen properly. Okay, so look at this pullback lately. Wow. New all-time highs to like seven. What's the newest all-time high? Newest all-time high, $73,750 to $64,000. Wow, that's like a 10K pullback. That's quite a bit. A lot of people asking, a lot of people wondering, is the bull market over or is it look the driver says bull run is over what i missed the bull run again personally i don't think it's over but i'm not nostradamus even though we predicted the luna crash we're not nostradamus so i want to know what y'all think i'm going to make a quick poll just one poll actually uh okay start a poll um is the bull run over Yes, no, no opinion. Okay, I started the poll. Oh crap, I named, I typo. I said B-U-L instead of B-U-L-L. -L. Okay, let's see, let's, let's get a lot of votes in. We have 140 watching right now, so let's get like at least 40, 50 votes in. No, 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 a lot of no's. Okay. Yeah, I agree. But what's worrisome is that usually the market goes in unpredict unpredictable manners. So, yeah, I'll end it there. Okay. Um, we're going to start, but... First, I want to share that this stream is brought to you by our channel partners and sponsors, Three Commas. More on them in a bit. Okay. Let us check out some interesting projects. Younger, better spoken version of George from Crypto R Us. <laughs> I think he's decently spoken. Sorry, excuse me. I think he's decently spoken. Dang, meme coin season has surprised me this time. It's meme coin season is still rocking. I assume this is a meme coin. Personally, I don't like them because I think it's musical chairs. You could argue all of crypto's musical chairs, but I think meme coins is even more accelerated musical chairs. So I'm not the biggest fan, even though I know friends that have gotten like 30x gains on meme coins. <laughs> Fala 
neural network is up? Is it as good as Akash network? That's hard to say, to be honest. I mean, um, Fala Neuro Network. Is that what it's called? Fa I mean, it's Fala Network. I don't think you're typing that right, Sanjeev. What is Fala Neuro Network? Do you just mean Fala Network in general? Let me know. BitBoy is calling for $500 XRP. XRP has not moved at all. You know, they were saying that the XRP army, army is in cope because, look, 1% up. Oh, wait, this is a seven-day period. But look, the past month, I mean, it rocketed, but then it came back down. It's been pretty much a stable coin for the past year. XRP army is definitely in cope. $500 XRP? No way. No way. He must be crazy. Yes, super chats are not prioritized. We look at projects in order. If they follow the format, full name, ticker symbol, interesting reason. Um, Radium, I'm not a fan of. It's an old project. I know it was a classic Solana project. There's new and exciting ones I'd rather have, like, like Jupiter. Uh, okay, let's see. 46% circulating. That's why... Market cap has been going up while price has still been struggling. I mean, it's not, it's a solid project. It's just old. I like Jupiter. I like Orca more. There's a lot of projects I like more. It's already a 600 mil. Let's compare that to Orca. Orca's at 200 mil. Yeah, I, I like Orca more, Daniel, personally. Meta none, I do not believe in cycle theory anymore. And if you follow the cycle theorists, they'll say that we're in an accelerated cycle now. So they're saying that end of 2024 is the peak. That's what a lot of people are saying. Is there a possibility of soul crash due to hyper usage? Yeah, there's always that possibility. Didn't Solana just crash like three weeks ago? Crash. Um, no, Solana Network Outage. February 2024. Solana Outage caused by a previously identified bug. So yeah, that's a, that's a month ago. Less than a month ago. So it's always possible. Not over by far. Bull is just starting. Are you farming the ZK Sync airdrop? Oh, no, but I should. I should, I should. ZK Sync, I'm a big fan of. Interlay, yeah, we covered that in our Polkadot video, so I don't really want to cover it now, but I like Interlay and what they're doing for. Here, I'll just take a quick look. Interlay, if y'all don't know, it's a Polkadot project. Interlay Bitcoin. Bitcoin DeFi. Um, so you know WBTC, right? That's wrapped BTC. This is somewhat similar, but more DeFi. Um, you could do all the stuff. You can lock, mint, BTC, DeFi. You can use it as collateral, trade it, get passive income, earn yield on it. So yeah, Interlay is interesting. It's in the Polkadot ecosystem, but it's all about Bitcoin DeFi. Altcoin rally end of year. Hopefully sooner than that, P. Dragunov. Thank you so much for your XBio ETH XY Sexy. I love Sexy too. I think it's a great um, up and coming gaming project. And it's only 10 mil. But I don't like to shill things too much because if it dumps, then y'all will get mad at me. So I didn't shill it that hard. Bull is over at 80k. Bold prediction. Stargate, ah, oh, yes, I like Stargate a lot, but it has disappointed me in terms of price action up to this point. I had it, and 150 mil, yeah, look at this price action. It's been disappointing, and market cap, 20, see, 20% 20 circulating only. That's why market cap has been increasing, but price looks like crap, you see? Finance, yeah. I used to like Stargate. I think it's a promising project. 
It's all about omni-chain um, liquidity transport protocol that lives in the heart of omni-chain DeFi. Yes, it has to do with layer zero. So you could farm it potentially through this. But in terms of STG itself, I'm not the biggest fan of. This is meta, meta none. Yes, there is pullbacks in the bull market. Dip buying is not a bad idea. We'll go lower. Good to see we're basically all perm. Is that really good to see though? Maybe we need some people who are cope to go higher. I'm falling asleep. Maybe you need some coffee. Or are you saying we need some more excitement in the stream? AIT protocol. Okay. AI. You know, AI projects. Wait, wait. I want to show y'all something. Someone was saying that AI projects. Um, AI coins down. AI mid curve. Did I? AI down mid curve. Where is that one? Mid curve. No, it has to be two words. AI down sideways. Ah, here. Here, guys. Here, here, here. This is what I've. In terms of AI, all of my AI tokens are sideways slash down for the past month. Either I, I either mid curve this trade or it's the AI bottom. What do y'all think? Are we late to the AI tokens trade or not? Because it was hottest, but then it's been chilling for the past month at least. Anyways, let's take a look at AIT protocol. I was just curious what y'all think about that. This one. This observation okay, AIT protocol okay this one's not going sideways this one's doing decently wow circulating market cap is low 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 59 mil out of 830 mil Uniswap okay okay so you can get it on DEXs AIT protocol let's see what is this doing I hate the websites that have this loading thing just show me the, the dang site no, sound off. Intersection of AI. Wow, they're going to make me. Yeah, honestly, I think this is worthless. However, it's an AI play, right? So, so it could do well. But what is this? Better data, better AI. Okay, maybe I take that back. It's a. First Web3 BitTensor subnet. Interesting. Okay, maybe this is not bad. I just don't like their website. Um, Web3 modeled AI ecosystem. NumPal outpacing ChatGPT. NumPal flawless, flawless AI. Fewer errors. Really? But then again, these AI models are all like commodities these days. In my opinion. What's its um what's its tokenomics? AIT protocol, AIT tokenomics. AIT token distribution. Okay. Um five percent. Liquidity, 10%, 30% ecosystem, 5% marketing, advisors, teams, 10% each. One month cliff, 12 month cliff, 36 months. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of supply expansion over the next few years, next couple of years, two, three years. So I'd be worried about holding this for too long, but... It doesn't seem 51 mil circulating, 700 mil. Yeah, I don't like the risk reward 
that much, but of course it's AI narrative and it looks to be doing interesting things. So that's my take on AIT. API 3, Ionis. I've never seen talk about it similar to Link. You know I do like Link. Um, API 3. API 3. Okay, 200. Okay, over over 50% circulating. Not bad. Um, why do they put the community tabs first? Okay, Binance, OKX, Coinbase, very accessible. Ooh, 100. There's so many of these these days, though. So many of these projects. I do like this one, though. 150 data feeds, 17 blockchains, zero bridges, zero middleman. First party oracles. There's a lot of these projects, though. I mean, okay, let's see what they had to say on Twitter. Okay, API 3 thread. Wow, this is old, 2022. Images in this thread. <laughs> No Oracle project earns and brings value to the token through offering price fees. Yes, not even Chainlink. The business model of every Oracle project so far was to attract TVS and somehow hope that makes your token go up so you can dump it. Wow. This is brutal. Zero value add, token created, no Oracle created system where TVS directly contributes to number go up. This changes soon. TVS is directly correlated to how much API 3 will be making. Really? TVS 10x in the past six weeks, March 7th. Wow, if that's true, I know this is like a bullish person who probably owns a lot of API 3, but that sounds interesting. The bull will run for another year or more, expect 20% pullbacks. That would make it a traditional cycle. Okay, RSR, that's an old project. I don't really want to look into that. That's like reserve rights, right? RSR. Can't believe y'all are looking at those like random 2018 coins. Okay, I'll take a look. Look, this one was around since 2019. Wow, that chart makes it look dead. And supply expansion. Reserve rights. <laughs> And I don't, I don't like CBDC as a narrative. We're not going to have one in the U.S. Yeah, we've taken a look at it. They have their own stable currency. Let's anyone create a token backed one-to-one -one by a collection of other tokens in a few minutes. Until all real-world assets are tokenized. It's interesting. It's interesting. I don't think there's any excitement behind this project and narrative, though, in my opinion. Diego says, if you had Matic token, do you diversify? I don't see a problem with diversifying. You don't have to go all in on a layer two. Right? You could have a third, a third, a third if you want. Near Protocol, one of the surprises, yeah, Near Protocol was doing nothing, and I sold my Near for other projects, but then it got piggyback off of the AI hype and has been destroying it lately. Look, one year. This is due to it being considered AI now. Like, look, if you look at the AI category, they put Near Protocol here. That's not really fair. Near Protocol is more layer one than AI, but hey, I guess they convinced them or paid them, I don't know what it was, to get included in that category. Other than that, I like Nier as a project. I know they're leaning into AI. Um, I think their founder, Nier founder, NVIDIA conference, it's going to the NVIDIA conference. Ilya Polos Pol Polosokin, co-founder and CEO of Nier, was announced as a speaker on the panel titled Transforming AI. So yeah, he's speaking at the conference. Doesn't mean there's a partnership. 
A lot of people are going to speak at the conference. Look, near token almost doubles ahead of NVIDIA's AI conference. So I guess we'll see. Maybe there'll be a dump afterwards if it's underwhelming. Yes, Peak, um, with full disclosure, is one of our channel partners and sponsors. They are deep in, and they're not out yet. Um, yeah, it's a blockchain for deep in. And you are correct. They are not out yet, but it looks promising to me, which is why we agreed to work with them. Okay, Ripple Stable Founder Token. Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> um, decentralized Science. That is interesting. I have heard of it. It is much smaller of a niche. Is it Vita? Vita Dow, I hope. See, y'all need to give me the full name or else. Tackling aging. Oh. An aging research Dow. Longevity. Funding projects. Okay, but what does the. Get Vita. What does Vita do, though? Is it just. Are you just donating money to them? Uh, okay, what does Vita do? Oh, I guess it's for governance. Vita token. Okay, let's let's read this. Governance token. Okay. 60% unminted. Oh, this is January 2023. This is old. Token unlock schedule. Got it, but your device has to be unlocked for that. Uh, my Google heard my voice. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting, but it feels more like you're just donating money to the science process. And it's not that big of a narrative. So I'd be surprised if this does like that well, though it is kind of small, though, isn't it? 27 mil, 200 mil. Yeah, I'm not that excited. I think it's interesting. I'm not that excited about it. Uh, Yes, definitely, Jeffrey. Many institutions holding BTC. Someday BTC won't be decentralized anymore like it used to be. Definitely. Michael Saylor is gobbling up all the BTC. He's going to be like one of the biggest influences. He's going to be like as powerful as Satoshi over the network if he keeps buying all that BTC. Tenet. LSD5. Uh, Tenet. Okay, it looks kind of sideways since 2023. 26% circulating, not the best. LSD, liquid staking derivatives. Okay, but reshaping the stablecoin landscape, LSDC, by embracing yield bearing collateral. Okay, so this is really DeFi stuff. LSDC. Anyone using this? Tokenomics. 30% block rewards, 10% team, 50% treasury, 10% public sale. Okay. LSDC. Okay, where's the where's the information about LSDC? LSDC. Liquid staking dollar coin. Soft peg dollar stable coin backed by restaked LSDs. Restaking. Restaking is the next potential Ponzi. There's like restaking your restaking tokens. Like that's quadruple staking. That's some crazy shit. Please don't participate in that or else we may have another Luna type crash. LFNTY, not sure how many DEXs. You're exactly right. That's the question to ask. How many FN DEXs do we need in each ecosystem? We don't need that many. 
Lefinity. Okay, 37 mil, only 20% circulating. Come on, guys. Solana, proactive market maker with concentrated liquidity. Yeah, how many DEXs do we need? I mean, this could do well, but it seems like another Me Too uh, DEX in the Solana ecosystem. First, Oracle based DEX. Okay, they all want to improve capital efficiency and reduce impermanent loss. Um, Delta neutral market makers. There's no second most capital efficient. Lefinity, volume to TVL. That stat is good. That's a good question, Densight Web Design. Um, I think it'll be released before mid-year. That's my guess for Polkadot 2.0. I like Celestia. Um, tokenomics may be just meh, but it's a modular blockchain. It's super important in the modular blockchain world because it's the data availability network. Folks, remember, if you've studied blockchains, you'll know, or maybe not study, just research a little bit. Modular blockchain. Let me share that with you right here instead of doing everything on one instead of doing everything on one thing like ethereum used to be like solana does today it splits it up into different blockchains this could be celestia this ethereum and this base just giving examples right this is the modular approach celestia is this bottom layer so my question and I'm going to see Vitalik Buterin live in person soon. I want to ask him, in a modular blockchain world, where does he think the data accrues long term? Because it's not going to, like, they all have tokens, right? Tia, ETH, Bait, or not Base, but like OP, Ar Optimism, Arb, Arbitrum. Which tokens are going to accrue the most value? Is it the top layer where people do the transactions? The middle layer where it settles? or the bottom layer where it keeps the data available, right? I'm going to ask him. Maybe he's biased and going to say settlement layer, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So we are going to go to more, more great comments flowing in. But first, a word from our partners and sponsors, 3 Comma. Please stick with me here because I'll be back to checking out all these great projects that y'all are sharing. All right, folks, today I wanna to share with you three reasons to try out Trading Bots by Three Commas, who's also the partner and sponsor of our channel. It's actually three specific bots that you should try out. And if you hear me out, I think you'll understand why they are so valuable to all sorts of traders out there. First is their DCA bot. This is the most basic and flexible bot that they have. You can set it up to do almost anything, but in general, you can use it in bull markets to buy when certain conditions hit and then automatically take profit when it rises. And on the flip side, when prices start to drop, you can use it to sell an asset and buy back lower. Honestly, there's so many things you can do with their DCA bots, but the beauty of it is that there's a preset marketplace for them. So you can browse and copy them with a the click of a button if you don't want to set it up yourself. Anyhow, the second bot you've got to know is their grid bot. Now this is amazing for sideways periods or times of high volatility because it sets orders for you in an interval grid. Like it places buy orders when the price drops in the grid's range and sell orders when it rises in that range. So basically it's doing the buy low, sell high strategy over and over again. But this way is way better than doing it manually where you'd have to set a bunch of limit orders and that would take forever. Anyhow, grid bots performed amazingly during the pre-bull market phase when there was a lot of sideways chop. And I think it could also perform really well after massive rallies when your coins need some time to cool off before their next leg up. So those two bots are cool. 
but don't sleep on this third one, which is the most flexible one of them all. It's called SignalBot, and that works for all sorts of market conditions. Basically, it takes your technical analysis and chart indicators and creates an automated strategy based on that. It's designed to work with TradingView, which is the most popular charting platform out there. So if you follow a TA specialist or have your own indicator perhaps, then this can work off of those. Like let's say you're using an indicator called Coinsider's Momentum Bands. Well, you can set up a bot to automatically open a trade when it hits a certain value and then close that trade when it hits another value. So that's an incredibly simple explanation, but I think you get the idea. And yeah, I hope this gives you a better sense of what these three common spots can do. And if any of that interests you, then you can sign up using my link below to get a free trial and up to 50% off your first subscription. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you for sticking around. Um, let's get back right into it. Okay, so one sec. I saw something good. Um, right here. No shill. CT is crypto. Twitter is predicting a massive shift to base with Din Dinkun. I hope that's how you pronounce that. Dinson. Um, what's your opinion on this? Yes, base season is going to be massive. I need to be deep in baseland. I'm not really big on memes. I know it's mostly memes there. I have Arrow though. Arrow Drone Finance. That's the biggest liquidity protocol in base. Let me just show you Aerodrome Finance. The central liquidity and trading marketplace on base. Yeah. Yeah. Swap liquidity. Simple. Great. I like it. I like it. I like base. I like all things base. Um... Okay, one sec, one sec. Let me see other great comments here. Okay, wait, I saw a good one. Ah, here, Lisk is coming back from the dead. I really want to warn y'all about falling in love with older projects, especially two cycles old. Look, last, okay, 2017, it rocketed. 20... 21 barely did anything now it's coming back maybe but i think it could do even less than this time look at all these projects from let's see neo you guys remember neo formerly ant shares look first peak second peak lower third peak even lower most likely it's old it's boring they're not doing anything even v chain which everyone loves back in the day Boom, and then this one probably even less. And then IOTA. I hate IOTA. I don't need to expand upon that. First pump, second pump, even less this time. No one gives a crap about IOTA. So careful about these old coins. They could pump. Some of them may prove me wrong, but most of the time, they're going to not do as well. Thank you guys for joining us. If you don't mind giving us a quick like, that would be great as well. See, that's the thing. Filecoin is a big hit. Seems to be struggling to gain momentum. That's the thing with these older projects. I think they're very um, quality, very high quality. But does it have excitement? Does it have, or if it doesn't have retail excitement, does it have things in its tokenomics that are going to drive value capture? Folks, does it have value capture? If the answer is no, and it doesn't have a hot, sexy narrative like AI, what's going to pump the price? Maybe just market manipulation, but that's not always very sustainable nor predictable. GRT is a good play in general. I wouldn't consider it AI. It's more big data. Um, yeah, it's more big data than AI because it's, it has to do with like querying thousands of APIs. Yeah, you're accessing the world's blockchain data through their interface. 
So discover thousands of open APIs. I wouldn't say it's an AI play. Um, and big love to all of y'all from India as well. Why circulating supply for Jupiter is so small? They designed the tokenomics that way. You ask the, ask the team. We don't have to like it. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Bitcoin will dump 80% with institutions buying and holding now. With hedge funds buying and holding the spot Bitcoin ETFs. I don't think it will dump 80%. I think it will be less. It will still dump. If there's euphoria, it will dump. But... My guess is even less than last time around. So maybe like 40% dump maximum. Just guessing. You're still holding Litecoin? Come on, man. Just sell it for something else. Is Litecoin still even doing anything? I remember back in the day when we're always like, Litecoin is silver to Bitcoin's gold. So... Wow, it rocketed again that much in 2021. So yeah, it could rocket, but yeah, I mean, it could rocket again. How much? How high is this though? This is 350 right now. It's 80. 350 divided by 80, 4x. Yeah, I don't like the risk reward. Vanar Van Reed chain? Okay. A lot of chains. Too many chains. What was this? 2021? Don't tell me that they started to do AI stuff this cycle. I would see that's a huge grift. Web3 for billions of entertainment consumers. Games? Yeah, but are they going to beat IMX and stuff? We have a lot of gaming blockchains already. How are they going to beat IMX and stuff? Ashraf and Dubai. Oh, are they based in Dubai? I think it's okay, but... Binance, Coinbase. Oh, it's on Coinbase too. 56%. 400 mils. Quite high already. Quite high already. Recently started at that high of a market cap. Where's the opportunity for retail, folks? If you want to be Wall Street bull, if you want to make some good money this bull run by Lisk, Theta, Jupiter, Polkadot, Origin Show. Those are some random picks. Like, why Lisk? We just talked about Lisk. 22, 22 is considered old nowadays. Yes, it is. Ah, here's a good question. Suman, Suman, AI versus Game 5 versus Deep in which narrative is going to own? Um, well, if I had to rank, I'd rank AI. Ugh, that's hard. AI and then Deep in and then Game 5 maybe. Game 5, I think a lot of people are disillusioned because of what happened um, during the last market where most of them were ponzi's like axie infinity crashed like crazy and a lot of people stopped playing their games because of that axs look at this massive massive peak and then boom a lot of people disillusioned because of this for game five Some of these are good picks. Some of these are okay. Bitcoin to 250k? That would be crazy. My prediction is... Hell, I hope we get over 100k. My prediction is 125k. More worried about BlackRock than Michael Saylor. That is a good point. Um, Super Oracles. So many Oracle projects, I am starting to become bearish on this niche because they're all Supra Oracle. So I have to put a space. Supra. 
Really? They're not going to show me? Like. Okay. Do they not have a coin yet? Supra Oracle's token. Supra airdrop. Oh, they're going to do an airdrop. Join the suit. 400 million super token airdrops. So they don't have a token out yet. Oh, so you can do stuff to get the airdrop. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see how big it opens at. Is it too late for render? I don't know, but if it does have a $5 billion market cap, yeah. Could it go to 50 billion and the peak bull market? Yeah, I could. That, that, that wouldn't be crazy. We've seen crazier things, but it is quite high already. I think it can go higher peak bull market, but this is more of a quote unquote. Wait, I'm back. I'm back. I accidentally went back. Can y'all see me? Hello. Um, I like went accidentally pressed back on my browser for a sec. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Okay. Um, wait, let me see some other interesting comments. We have a lot of great stuff. Y'all are. Okay, VeChain is still developing and expanding. I hope so, or else it would have just been a huge grift. Me? I said Solana wouldn't go beyond 45 bucks? That must have been a long time ago if I said that. No, it can't have been me. Because when I saw Solana, it was at like 10. But that was back in the day. That was like 2021 or 2020. Um, okay, let me see what else. Since so many people are talking about the NVIDIA conference and bidding up like near protocol afterwards, I'm actually thinking that it's a buy, buy the rumors, sell the news event. So I'm predicting that a lot of these AI projects will drop um, after the NVIDIA conference. You can quote that, you can clip that, and let's revisit afterwards um, and see who's right. Wait, when exactly is the NVIDIA conference dates march 18th to 20 oh it's tomorrow nvidia is tomorrow having i can't wait for it yet another having under our belts um and bitcoin supply cut in half there's usually a pre-having bull run and post-having bull run is that a must no but hopefully we get a post-having bull run that'd be amazing right GXS, D-Pin, AI projects, lets people rent their GPU power. Lend their GPU power. There's a lot of, there's another project y'all told me about that earlier, which was like GPU, right? But GHX, gamer coin. Not really that accessible. I guess Uniswap and KuCoin are okay. Uh, over 50% circulating, I like that. 770,000 gamers share the GPU power for AI and mining. Is that true? Versus the gamers? Okay. Okay. Daily payments. 250 bucks earned monthly by sharing PC power. Malta. Based in Malta. Oh, wait. I need to share the screen. Just notice, I'm y'all are looking at me. <laughs> My bad. Okay, this is gamer coin. Um, I think it's interesting, but 
It's already quite high. We're not early by any stretch. 200 mil. Like, y'all share with me another one. GPU, right? No to AI GPU. 100 mil. Yeah, they're all in the hundreds of mils already. Could it go higher? Yes, absolutely. But there's a lot of competitors. So choose your fighter is what I'll say. I do see AVAX making new highs. It's newer than those, but maybe eventually it will have diminishing returns. 21 billion already. Yeah, see, market cap's already near all-time high because of 52% circulating. Dando says, bull run is coming near to the end. So-called retail investment isn't coming in or coming back as strong as everyone thinks. Yeah, a lot of them are disillusioned. A lot of my friends are, are my normie friends are selling instead. Retail is definitely not coming in this time around. If this dip, you're scared, then just sell your crypto and invest in bonds. Wow. Um... Engine coin gaming project that was super hot back in the day. It is so old. Look how old it is. First pump, second pump. Can third pump go higher? I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. And how's their circulating supply higher than their total supply? Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. That's weird. That is a weird. Engine is solid, but build Web3 games with confidence. Yet another Web3 gaming. They have their own blockchain. They have their engine coin. Is anyone building on them though? Oh yeah, they had some games before, but um, engine chain, engine blockchain. Explore the ecosystem. Gaming. Yeah, I don't think anyone plays these games. Like, real talk. Do any of y'all play these games? If not even a single person play these games, like, what's the effing point? Just speculation? No one's building on their amazing platform? That's my opinion. Airdrops. Uh, yeah, definitely take profits if they're really, if it's up a lot, but hold a moon bag. Definitely hold a moon bag. But definitely take healthy profits too. AI then deep in the gaming for sure. Glad you agree with me. Though I'd say deep in and gaming are close in my opinion. Um... Soul, besides Jupiter and meme coins, yeah, they have a lot of projects. Render is in Soul. Render Network. They have a uh, Hive Mapper. Deepin. They have a lot of Deepin. Soul is the Deepin and consumer application chain. Yeah, I heard that too. Billionaires selling stock. Billionaires selling stock. Uh, do they know something we don't know? Um, right here. American Titans, Jeff Bezos, Leon Black, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Jamie Dimon, and Walton family sell a staggering $11 billion in stock. Cash out before looming election. So do they know something we don't know? I don't think they're investing in Bitcoin, but usually it's not good if all of them are selling. I keep pressing back. Sorry about that. Um, I'm back.
Yeah, laggers. That is an interesting strategy. Usually not one I follow, but it could work to try to play rotations and the laggers. Wow, stellar, huge pump, second huge pump. Can it get there again? That would only be like a 6x though. So I think the upside is limited unless you think it's going to blow past this, you know? It is a lagger though, currently. Linear from consensus. Uh, do I think he can do as well as a base? Maybe not as well, but I think he will do well for sure. Are y'all farming this transactions? Are y'all gonna farm this? You probably get a lot of money farming it. Um, linear airdrop, potential linear airdrop. Polygon sleeping giant. People have been sleeping on it. Seven to ten bucks. Massive adoption. Massive partnerships. Polygon 2.0. Need I say more? I'm a big fan of Polygon. It's kind of been like Ripple lately and not moving a lot. But it's already at 10 billion. So there's that. Um, yeah. It's not moving a lot lately in the past year. But I do think it's a really solid project. Supply all circulating essentially. So if you're in for a safer play, not as boom or bust, then Polygon may be good. I'm not the biggest fan of ordinals. I haven't tried it out myself. I'm not like an NFT guy, but if y'all like inscriptions or ordinals and stuff, then hey, all the power to you. BTC 265K Solana Luna. Why'd you write Luna? 265. Uh, well, I think Solana can go way higher than 265. It's almost there already. Solana has been killing it this past month. Wow, 100 to almost 200 in a month. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, all right, folks, this has been a fun stream. I'm going to cut it a tiny bit short today because um, I have somewhere I got to go. But have a great time looking into stuff with y'all. I'm going to do this more often during this bull market. And um, don't forget to try out three commas trading bots using my link below. You can get a free trial and up to 50% off your first subscription. Oh, and don't forget to watch our ecosystem videos um, right here. I'm really curious, by the way, why haven't y'all liked the series? We're cutting this short. Why haven't y'all liked this series as much as other ones? I thought this would be a huge. Oh, wait, I'm not even sharing my screen. I thought this would be a huge hit, this ecosystem rankings ones, but y'all haven't been watching it. Can y'all tell me why do you not um, care about this? Are y'all all into meme coins instead these days? Like these are tier lists of different ecosystem projects. Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, Avalanche. Someone give me a good, um, the reason why y'all aren't as excited about it. And, uh, I can learn from it for my next series. I think some series I want to do is versus or battle, like, um, like render versus Filecoin or Solana versus AVAX or... BitTensor versus something AI project, right? I want to do a versus series and whatnot, but, 
but yeah, I'm looking for some feedback as to why y'all don't like this series over here. Let me make this larger. You like this series, but just you though. What about everyone else? We have a lot more other people watching like Injective or Tia than this ecosystem series. They want to follow the narratives. Uh, ETH versus Soul. Low cap. Everyone's looking for low cap gems. There are some low cap gems in here. Why aren't you all watching these for some low cap gems? There are some. Okay, maybe they're not that low cap. They're at least mid cap. ETH versus Soul. Okay, we can consider that. We all like to know about new coins, even if they aren't low caps. That's true. Skid on Soul. Thank you for the super chat. Don't really want to shill any meme coins, but I'll let people look at what you tweeted. Skid on Soul, 100 mil meme Elon tweet. All right, folks, it was great. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.